Uh, hello, English language learners. My name is Chris. I'm from Lesson Jigsaw. We are here for five of 30. Hopefully you're practicing 30 minutes of English today. And I'm only going to take up five minutes of it. Maximum, maximum, no more than five. Today, again, we're going to look at um, using social media posts as a prompt uh, or inspiration for conversation or talk or English practice. Now, this particular uh, post, if you can see the visual, uh, uh, you can obviously see it, but uh, if not, I'll give you a brief description. It's basically, uh, it's comparing the, uh, the two ways that, or different ways that Apple Pay and Google Pay handle the information uh, from credit cards and sensitive uh, information from the card holders, sorry, the card holders when they do their uh, transactions. Uh, now, this is from uh, Zhao Hongshu, uh, the social media uh, site. Um, and, and I guess the, when, when you look at this, and this is obviously just an example, but this is a good way of practicing uh, if you want to have a look at uh, processes um, and systems. You know, same, same as like when you're looking at a recipe, you know, you want to look at the order uh, of events and perhaps thinking about explaining. So what I would suggest when you see something like this, uh, when you have the graphic, uh, now these are numbered as well. And so obviously it's easier than to talk through what's actually happening first, second, third, and so on. So what you can do is uh, just practicing uh, describing the events. Maybe you could describe why those events happen. Where, then you can also think about describing what would happen if they didn't. Uh, happen, then you could also possibly describe um, some possible issues uh, with those events if you think it's uh, good or bad. You can talk about your own personal uh, experiences uh, with these sorts of systems uh, and that sort of thing. Like we've said before, uh, if you've got someone to talk to, obviously that's a, a great thing and you can talk about this information with them. If not, uh, use your uh, the voice recorder on your phone etc uh, to practice but the the point is that the practice needs to be allowed so speaking aloud uh, not just thinking in your head or written or both uh, if you can um, other things to think about uh, might be uh, when you're going through and produ uh, introducing this information think about how you're going to organize it so you've got all the basic steps think about are you going to give an introduction is there going to be a conclusion at the end? And how are you going to join and link the, uh, the details that you're providing? In this particular case, we're talking about uh, payment systems, sensitive uh, data, and then you can uh, relate that to uh, your own personal uh, experiences. Maybe not necessarily with uh, Apple or Google Pay, but perhaps like when you're paying with uh, just a normal credit card or debit card, um, and comparing uh, how you think it, it might, uh, the transactions might be processed uh, uh, going through their own uh, sort of systems. Now, in this particular post, they have a description uh, that you can follow as well and compare to your own. Now, I, I don't know uh, if this is 100% uh, uh, correct, if there's anything left out or if there needs to be extra information in or if it's completely a hundred percent okay we're looking at this purely from the basis of english language practice if we want to verify the information and that sort of thing that's something we can uh, do as a i guess a supplementary exercise so searching through different websites and and whatnot to confirm uh that uh, that information but like i say we're just looking at this at it in with the idea of practicing uh English, speaking English and writing English. All right, so we're going to uh, leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're practicing English. Uh, if you're following, liking, subscribing, all that sort of stuff, we thank you very much for that. We hope you have a great day. Continue practicing English. Take care. Until next time. See you later.